Oh boy, sponsorships and partnerships, the holy grail of YouTube's monetization. Everyone wants to reach at this stage because it's the most lucrative way to make money with videos, but it's also the most difficult one. And there is reason why. You see, you need to understand what sponsorships or partnerships are to get people attracted to you. And you need to understand that very well. So sponsorship is basically an ad on your video. Someone is paying you money directly in advance to promote their product. And your goal is that, to promote their product to get as many people to the sales, I mean sales team or a landing page or whatever it is, and to encourage people to purchase the product. That means that it's not just their duty to pay you money, it's your duty to help them, not generate them, but to help them generate sales. When you understand this, you will most likely understand how to do that for them. So how to attract and secure sponsorships for your channel. Now first things first, what is important is the choice of your channel's niche. Your channel's niche should be very specific. Specific. The more specific your channel's niche is, without being too specific, it will be easier to define what type of audience is watching you. And when you have perfect understanding what the audience you have, sponsors will also be able to see what type of people you have on your channel. And this way, when they will want to sponsor you and they will contact you, they will most likely be already ready to partner up with you. So you need to have a clear niche. Now, this clear niche is important. Not the number of subscribers, not the number of views you generate, even though this is important. The niche is more important because it's easier for you to be discovered by those sponsors and easier to start working with you. As an example on my YouTube channels, because they were very specific on their topics, I managed to get my first sponsors before I even hit 1000 subscribers. Yes, you can do that. I can't guarantee you that, but these things can happen. You don't need tens of thousands or even hundreds of thousands of subscribers to get your first sponsors. Second thing that is important, you need to position yourself as a professional in your niche. Faced or faceless, doesn't matter. All your facts and all your information in your video must be very precise and true. The more precise and better the information is, more professional you look in their eyes. And also one thing that you should have already done, you should have a very clear branding on your channel. And you should have ability to be contacted mean that it should not be very difficult for sponsors to contact you now there are two types of sponsors that you will find on your channel the ones that you will find you then the ones that you will find for the faceless channels most likely you will find the second one but let's start with the first one the ones that will find you will most likely be ready to partner up with you and it's just a matter of negotiation how it will continue negotiation will be the price and size of deliverables and deliverables are basically the things that you will create for them the videos or uh, the sponsor segments but the second one is actually a little bit more difficult in some cases and the easier in those other cases and it is the finding sponsors yourself you see if you have created a channel you'll most likely know and understand what type of tools or services that your users will most likely buy so you will just reach out to those companies and tell them that you have a youtube channel and you would like to and you would like to be sponsored by them now most of them will just ignore you or just say or just say straight out no it's completely normal do not get worried about that it's completely normal i would say that 90 percent of the company that you will contact will go to you not answer at all and more than half of the ones that are left will just race will just say straight out no the rest will want to negotiate with you they want to see your numbers they want to see who your who your viewers are or they want to see what you can promise them and how will price them now it is important to have all those negotiations in an email form or written form because if some issues will arise you will always have the proof that well said phrase was said because it was written on an email also it is very important to check out the contracts that will be sent to you when you will agree with sponsorships even though it's a legal document it highly suggests you to find a lawyer that will take a look at this for you but if you're gonna go and check this yourself again this is not a legal advice just make sure payment terms and deliverables are very precise and exactly what you negotiated for now the payment wise some companies will actually give you their services for free or just give you the products for free in exchange for the deliverables just make sure that you want those also one thing that is very important when they're sending you the free products make sure that they will be covering all not just deliveries but all the taxes and duties make sure to do so because some products can be expensive and will require taxation and you will have to pay out of your pocket so make sure that they will cover all the costs otherwise otherwise just do not agree for the any free stuff as for the amount of money that you want to ask from a sponsorship now that purely depends on how big your channel is how many subscribers you have how many average viewers you have and what is their budget and it's usually the part of negotiation you can you need to discover 
verify these prices for yourself. Just make sure the prices that they're suggesting is worth it for you, or otherwise it's not worth it to work for a small amount of money. Overall, sponsorships are actually much easier when you grow your channel quite big and you're gonna have a lot of people reaching out to you. And trust me, a lot. Just make sure that you check every single one of them before you're gonna continue contacting them because many of them are scammers. And also make sure that you check out the contracts that are sent to you because sometimes they might have some small clauses that will invalidate the contract. And also make sure that you agree on a payment term. Sometimes they will just force you to make the video and they will not pay you because yeah, because they would say that they will pay you later and they will just completely ghost you. Just make sure that you save yourself from these things as well. Not a legal advice, of course. And even though sponsorships and partnerships are very lucrative they are very easy to make but they're very hard to find there is also one way one more way to make money from your youtube videos that is far more lucrative than any of those will most likely not require any third parties and you can start doing from very beginning of your channel it is selling your merchandise and your own products and we're going to talk about that in the next lecture take care